Hello students, from today I am going to start uh, MFCS that is Mathematical Foundation of Computer Science. MFCS means Mathematical, it is the Mathematical Foundation of Computer Science. First today I am starting first unit 1. First of all before going to see unit 1, first let us see what is the introduction of a MFCS. So MFCS means here discrete mathematics. It is a subject on a discrete mathematics. It is a branch of a mathematics involving the discrete elements that uses algebra and arithmetic. So, MFCS, it is a branch of a mathematics that includes discrete elements. So, discrete elements means uh, it takes a countable number of elements. So, countable number of elements is called as discrete elements. So, it is increasingly being applied in the practical fields of mathematics and also in computer science. So this is used in mathematics and also in computer science. It is a very good tool for improving the reasoning and also the problem solving capabilities. So we can easily say that discrete mathematics or mathematical foundation of computer science is a study of a discrete element. So it is a study of a discrete elements. Here discrete means already I have said discrete means it is a particular value. Suppose if you take any example, suppose if I take an example, number of students in a class, then what is your answer? Then our answer is 30 or 40 or 50 or 60. So it is a particular number or number of books in a bag. So how many are there? Suppose there are 5 books, means 5 or 6 or 8 or so it is a particular number or a particular value. So discrete means uh, it is a particular value. So particular value the study of a particular value is also called as discrete mathematics or mathematical foundation of computer science. So other than discrete is called as continuous. Other than discrete is called as continuous. Continuous means here continuous means which takes its value continuously. That means here which takes the values continuously means for example we can easily take an example of age, height, weight of a person or animal or anything we can take. So exactly we cannot say how much age it is or how much weight it is or how much height of a person. So these differ from day to day or second to second or minute to minute or hour to hour. So which changes its value continuously is called as continuous. So other than discrete is called as continuous. So continuous means best examples are age, height, weight of a person or animal. Next example we can take speedometer of a vehicle. So the speedometer of a vehicle changes its value continuously from 0 to 150. So it's, it is having a pointer. Already we know the speedometer of a vehicle. Whatever the vehicle we take, uh, it is having a speedometer. So its value, the pointer takes the values from 0 to 150. So if we stop the vehicle, then it uh, pointer shows the 0. If we go speed, little bit speed, it will show 30 or uh, in a high speed it will show 60. So it shows the values, particular value. No, it does not change the, it does not see the particular value, but it changes the value continuously. Then it is called as continuous. So continuous means uh, which it changes its value continuous. It will not stay at a particular value, but it changes at a, a place to place. It will changes at place to place or value to value is called as continuous. So discrete is a study of a discrete elements that is it is a particular value. Now first of all I am going to start a definition that is statement. Statement is also called as preposition. So a statement or a proposition is a sentence that is either true or false. So simply we can say that statement or preposition means it is a statement or it is a sentence which is either true or false. Suppose if I take an example 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So 2 plus 2 equal to 4 means it is a true statement. So it is a statement. Suppose 3 into 3. What is the value of 3 into 3? 9. But I have taken here 8. So what type of statement it is? It is a false statement. So this is also a statement but it is false. This is also a statement but it is true. So a statement or preposition is a sentence that is either true or either false. But not both. Today is Tuesday. Suppose this is a prime number. These are also sentences or statements. Now the non-examples are, suppose if I take x plus y value is greater than 0, then this is not a statement or proposition. Why this is not a statement or proposition? Why? Because 
here i cannot say the exact value of x i can take x as 1 or 2 or 0 or 3 or 4 or and now i take y as 0 or 2 or 3 or 4 or anything i can take so here exactness is missing so here we cannot exactly say that whether this statement is true or false whatever the value it may be we cannot consider it so this is not a statement or proposition here also i am taking another example which is not a statement or proposition that is x square plus y square equal to z square here also we cannot decide whether what is the value of x and what is the value of y so this these two are not the examples of a statements or a proposition so here i am saying that they are true for some values of x and y so we cannot say that they are true for all the values but they are true for some of the values but uh, exactly we cannot say so these are not the examples of a statement or proposition but are false for some other values of x and y so these two are not the statements or proposition these two are not the statements or now types of statements so there are two types of statements they are number one is primary statement and number two is compound statement so first number one primary statement primary statement means uh, a statement which does not contain any connectivity is called as primary statement so in this uh, now if you take an example if you take a statement then it must not contain any connectives connectives means and or if then if and if if and only if if then so these are connectives so if i take a statement that that does not contain any connectives then it is called as a primary statement for example here i am taking two statements one is p and another one is q p i am taking today is hot q i am taking it is rain these two are statements but they are not having any connectives but they are not having connect so such type of statements is called as primary statements next compound statements so compound statement means a statement which contains any connectives is called as compound statement so this type of statements have a connectives connectives means and or if then if and only if if then so these are connectives so if any statement which contains connectives then it is called as a compound statement so here i am taking an example of the previous example already i have taken an example a uh, p means p is a statement today is hot and q is a statement it is rainy so these both st statements are primary statements now i will make it as a compound statement first uh, we how to make uh, this as connective first we how to reduce it first we how to change this as a compound statement means we have to use any connective in between these two statements so here i am using and today is hot and it is raining so here i am using a connective and so this type of statement is called as compound statement or i can take or today is hot or it is raining it is also a compound statement that means statement which contains any connectives then it is called as a compound statement a statement which does not contains any connectives then it is called as a primary statement here and is a connective so these are the types of the statements so there are two types of statements one is primary statement and another one is compound statement so this is about the type of the statements next compound statement here i am taking some of the example p it is hot two it is rain so i am taking two statements p it is hot and q it is sunny so here i am taking some of the connectives it is hot and sunny hot and sunny and means here i will use the connective and this is the connective and it is not hot but sunny not means here this is the symbol of negation negation means not i am saying that it is not hot not hot means not p that is not means it is not hot but sunny and sunny next it is neither hot nor sunny neither hot means it is not uh, hot it is not sunny so here i am using negation p and negation q so these are some of the compound statements using the connectives and so now briefly we are going to see what are the definitions of a connectives and what are the different types of connectives in detail so connectives so connectives means uh, simply we can say in the meaning itself it is having any word or expression used to connect connectives means connect connectives means connect so any word or expression used to connect two or more statements then it is called as a connective 
so here we can connect a different statements so connecting the statements two or more statements then it is called as a connective so the definition of connective c is any word if we want if we can take any word or if any expression use it to connect two or more statements then it is called as a connective so connectives are mainly of uh, five types they are number 1 is negation number 2 is conjunction number 3 is disjunction number 4 is conditional and number 5 is biconditional so these are the five types of uh, connectives